guys, it's Amanda Keller with the County Manager's Office and today we are talking about the primary election because that's taking place tomorrow. So I've got Election Commissioner uh, Ronnie Metzger here with me today. To, Thank you, Amanda. Uh, yeah, no problem. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. So we're just going to go through some of the basics and um, we'll get started asking, what is this election for? Anyway. Okay, this election is for electing what we would call the municipal or the school, city, or any of the right. local election. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what this election is for. I thought that was in the springtime, not the fall. You're right. It has <laughs> always been in the spring, say in March and April, mm -hmm. for the primary and the general, but the state legislature has moved it to August and November. Okay. In the odd years. So, so we're in 2017, uh -huh. and this is our very first time to do this. Well, that is interesting. What else is new? Are there other new things happening? There was actually this last legislative session a change that was made. If you ask for an advanced vote by mail, I gave you a sample. Uh -huh. Okay. So here's an envelope that some people right now may have laying on their kitchen countertop, and they intend to get this mailed. They haven't gotten it mailed yet. Here is a way to get it done the right way. Okay. And that would be to put it, take it to any polling location and drop it in this red canvas bag. And this is a sign we created. It's at every single polling location. It says deposit ballot here. This would be only for those who have an advance by mail ballot that okay. have not yet mailed it in. It's a convenience item. They can bring their ballot to any polling location tomorrow on election day and just look for the red bag, the green sign, drop it in. I don't think it could be any easier. <laughs> I thought it was a good change yeah. because we've always had to tell people, you can't do that. You yeah. have to take it to the election office. Now it's more convenient. Well, you've already had advanced voting going. We've been mentioning that on our social media channels. Um, that's been about a week now. So right. how has advanced voting been going? Well, we, took, we looked at some numbers today. And as of Saturday evening, when Saturday late afternoon, when we finished the advanced voting from Monday through Saturday, mm -hmm. we had blown away all previous municipal city election uh, totals or, or uh, percentages in any previous municipal election in the history of advanced voting. Wow, so maybe moving it to the fall was... Well, we'll find out, <laughs> we'll find out. This election isn't over, so we don't know that we're going to blow away all records, yeah. but we know that we have blown away advanced vote, and that even includes one election that was a county with 345,000 voters. Wow. This particular election only involves 274,000 of the 400,000 voters in Johnson County today. Okay, interesting. So about 125,000 Johnson County voters do not have an election this time. And I think we'll show a map of that here before we wrap yeah, up. We have a map out here we can look at. Perfect. So now we're going to take you through the process of voting so you can okay. see how easy it is. So first of all, we are in a typical voting uh, polling location right now. It's not open because at, at this hour of the day on Monday, no polling location is open. Mm -hmm. That starts at 7 a.m. Tuesday, tomorrow morning. Okay, so when the voter walks in, it'll be a configuration much like this. Every room is different because we lay it out depending on the facility, right? Right. And so there will be a table like this. This is the check-in table. Mm -hmm. And there will be, as you can see, three people stationed here, each with a poll pad, two, sometimes three poll pads at every polling location. And they, I actually brought my driver's license along. <laughs> uh, the person drops their driver's license right in here. The poll pad camera scans that and uploads my voter information. Wow, that's so much easier than the old books, right? <laughs> Just like that, it's amazing. Yeah, we have eliminated the paper poll book. For, in, in, instead, we now have the electronic poll book called the poll pad. So my voting information comes up, the person checks me in, and the voter card is given to the machine attendant who then can guide you or me to our voting machine. Okay, so, so let's cast our ballot. Let's do that. So as in this case, the check-in room is in this room, and then in the adjacent room is the room where the voting machines are. And because the poll is not open right now, you can see these machines are all shut down, locked down, and in fact, there's a padlock, but if someone were to break this and open it up, it wouldn't function because it's one, not turned on, and two, 
the critical card that needs to be in it to make it run is not even here. Okay. So it is simply an empty shell right now. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I forgot to mention that if anyone has any questions about the primary tomorrow, please feel free to chime in and, and ask those in the comments. So this is the, this is the voting equipment and most people have one item on the ballot this time. Some have two and a few have three items on the ballot. So how does someone know if they need to vote tomorrow? Let's take a look at this map right here. And you can see this is a picture, or this is a map of the entirety of Johnson County. And so where we are right now is down in this area. The blue part is Olathe. And all these other pastel colors up here indicate that there is an election. And down here in Gardner, this is an election. But all of the gray area, all the way around, and in various parts throughout the county, there is no election. So how can a person know uh, exactly, if, if they don't know, mm -hmm. they can't maybe see our map? Mm -hmm. uh, to answer more specifically, we have our website that can help them discover if they have an election for where they live. Perfect. Um, do you also allow people to call on the phone to find that out? If oh, they can do that. We can talk them through that. So first, let's give the website uh, Joco Election without an S, Joco, J-O-C-O, election.org. And right under the eagle is the link, Voter Lookup. They can click on that, and that will take them to the page specifically where they can put their information, address in, birth date, and find out if they have an election. Perfect. Or they can call us at 715-6800, and that's area code 913-715-6800. Okay, awesome. Looks like we have a question. Yes, from Brandon. Some folks prefer a paper ballot. Can they use these at polling locations instead of the electronic machines? Absolutely. That can be done. I think we call those gold voters. And uh, so when you get to your polling location, you can say, I prefer a paper ballot. And the, uh, the, the supervising judge, the assistant supervising judge, will help and make sure that you get to do what you, how, on what medium you want to vote. Great. Any well, other questions? I think, I think that's it. <laughs> that was <laughs> so, a really good question. <laughs> thank you so much, Ronnie. Okay. Appreciate you thank joining you, us today. And uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Hope you go out and cast your ballot. Um, if you have a ballot to cast tomorrow during the primary elections in Johnson County. Thanks so much.